welcome back so our second step to discovering your purpose and if you guessed it right is looking within meditation and scripture looking within meditation and the place of scripture remember god says he makes known the end from the beginning so at this second step you want to know the end right at your beginning so this is a call for meditation and to look deep within yourself to ask yourself questions like what do you really want out of life what do you want to be remembered for what do you want your legacy in this life to be what do you want to make out of your life because in the end what you do with your life is what people will remember you for what are the changes the dent you want to make in the universe this is looking within and this step takes a lot of effort you need to find a quiet place daily early momentarily where you go there and go and sit down quietly to reflect to think to meditate and really search deep in yourself what do you think you can do what do you want to do what is it you can do without being paid for what do you think if you do with your life will bring you the greatest joy you may have several gifts but you need to zero in on what is the one which will bring you the maximum satisfaction the maximum joy that you accomplish in the world so knowing the end from the beginning is starting right now to picturing your end imagine you were Uh, at your funeral what do you want the people to say what do you want them to testify about what kind of man or woman were you that is what you're asking yourself in this moment of meditation in this step of looking within so that you can start getting an idea of what are the most important things to you putting aside ambition putting aside the the desire to please others to prove yourself you want to zero in on your core reason for existence your why what you really 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 want scripture comes in at this level because it's a point where it helps you really get a grasp of uh, how valuable and really important you are because you meditate and you also meditate on scripture because scriptures like uh, you are fearfully and wonderfully made scriptures that make you understand that you were predestinated for something great you know scriptures that says and makes you understand that from the foundations of the world you were ordained to do something great right from the womb god knew you he planned you to do great and mighty things he says you are a royal priesthood you're a living stone you're a chosen generation so these are scriptures which you withdraw yourself in this quiet moment to meditate upon them so you get a clarity about your life the point is in this world there is a lot of noise there is a lot of clutter there are a lot of things going on at the same time so you need to be able to make clarity out of this noise you need to get what is essential so that you can dump the noise you can discover your purpose in the midst of the noise and it's very peculiar that when you study scripture you realize that most of the people when they really went there to discover their purpose when god when he introduced them to what he created them to do he always separated them from the mass and take them either to the desert the wilderness a quiet place where he can actually meet them and communicate to them so at this stage you want your spirit to be open so that you can listen to what the spirit of god will be speaking to you remember it also written in scriptures that the spirit of god will speak to the spirit of man so as you're meditating you're hearing clearly what exactly you should be doing what exactly you shouldn't be doing because some times even you may know what your purpose is or you have an idea but you feel like I don't want to do this this is this is too demanding I'm already comfortable maybe you've already gone far on a career and you're thinking I, I don't want to let go or you 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 hear your purpose and things is not pleasing like what you really wanted but and you kind of trying to ignore it so this meditation time is where you get quiet to get clarity out of the noise everything is quiet you're you're in tune with your spirit man so you can and get clearly what is the next step what you're to do and this step you carry it all through you know the first step like we saw yesterday is something you do maybe 
once and for all possibly but you your features and your, your capacities are always there so you just know that you may learn new skills but this is something you do regularly from time to time because your purpose doesn't just drop fully it it comes and then you get it and god keeps developing it for you as you move he gets clearer and clearer and clearer you keep seeing the different wings and the different aspects because sometimes it's everything is just bumped on you you get me get so intimidated that you collapse or you give up so <laughs> but if it's sent to you in portion you get the big idea and then gradually as you're moving on the details keep coming so this step helps you make clarity out of all the clutter even as you go on a daily basis all throughout your life fulfilling your purpose so what do you want to be remembered for you want to make this out clear written down what do you want your legacy to be what do you want your children to inherit what do you want your generation to remember you for this all has to do with the aspect of meditation so that you get clarity of your purpose because one truth is everybody like we saw in the last video that your purpose uh, was trapped within you right from like a seed and majority of people as children we saw glimpses of our purpose we saw exactly what we wanted to do but usually while growing up uh, society the world the home chokes that purpose and we kind of give up on it and we feel like well i'm born in this environment these kind of things are not done in this environment but that is not an excuse you can always be the first to do it so meditating connects you back to your childhood memories your childhood dreams to your childhood passions where you are in tune to really get clarity of what is most essential so this helps you remember all those things remember all those visions you used to have where you felt like everything was possible as a kid and then you kind of cast away the experience of adulthood like you know too much and it cannot work indeed everything can work as long as it's your purpose the worksheet will give you quizzes to clarify what you want to be remembered for your legacy childhood dreams or visions that you had and also help you give you key things and scriptures on which you're going to meditate upon but the ones you've seen in this video are good and you can always go for more related scriptures that talk about your creation your value your importance and your greatness so doing this is going to really help you get closer to understanding what your purpose is and what you want to make out of your life so that's it for the second step in the next video we are going to look at the third thing to do the third step to discover your purpose please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet and do share it with your friends and family network who you know this will be a blessing to them thank you for watching and see you in the next video